Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Good day from the Maison de Maitre. I'm upstairs, I'm in one of the bedrooms. It's cold, it's miserable. I am wearing several protective layers to try and keep myself warm. I am glad I am wearing a padded bra, otherwise I could lose an eye, it is that cold. However, I am going to keep working. And my aim for this week is to de-wallpaper this room. You will have seen this room before. This is the room where I found the historic newspaper on the front of the cupboard last year, if not the year before. Um, I would be upstairs in the attic, but that's even colder. And um, in here I have a heater and I have my wallpaper stripper. And it's just one of those things that need to be done. It's another fairly large room. The wallpaper, again, is actually really pretty in this room, but it all needs to come off. Um, there's cracking behind the wallpaper on some of the walls. Uh, the ceiling needs attention. Um, but yeah, I thought, you know, got to start somewhere. Let's start in here. So just to give you an idea of some of this wallpaper, I think that this is made by the same manufacturer that made the wallpaper, the blue one, um, for downstairs that was in the billiards room. It's really, really lovely. Um, it's lily pads, but then you might be able to see it. There's it's like tiny little flecks of gold, but they've gone from where it's just been here over the years. Um, this looks like it's all hand printed. And so this is backing paper, then there's the lily paper, and then there's like the, the decorative trim paper. And whoever's done it has been really patient. I mean, look at that, that's a square cut out with this lining paper around the edges. But some of this will be saved and of course it will be going into my little book of all different types of wallpaper from this house. In this room there's also all of the original carpets from the stairs um, and the hallway carpets as well which we're hoping to save and if you look just behind here you can see all of the old brass stair rods. I'm so happy we've got them because they're such a nice feature and they would have cost a fortune to replace.
Um, yeah, just mixing up some grout to fill around the floor tile I fitted in the cupboard in the sheet. As you know, this is my favourite colour to work with. Right, well, it's on the floor in the joint. And then we go and clean my bucket out, and then by that time, it should have just gone off enough for me to um, clean up the excess down there. And then that's another little job ticked off the list, bit by bit. Well, hello, and I am on to day two of wallpaper stripping. It is freezing. I think it's under a degree in this house. You can, you can actually see the steam coming off of my breath. But I'm going to continue. Um, I will admit on day one, I didn't get very far. I've managed to get two of the corners done, but not the tops. It is just that cold that it's just not nice. Um, crack on and do it though, but yeah, kind of need to keep going and getting warm and then coming back. And when you go and get warm and then you go to come back, you kind of lose momentum and it's not fun. Well, there you have it. Those doors are now painted and back where they belong. Um, so with a cupboard, just need to put the bits and pieces back inside and I think I've finished all that needs to be done in there. Um, door frames are painted, bit down the side was filled and painted. Yeah, quite pleased with that. A few hours on and I now have a game changer. I have light, number one. Two, of course, I have heat. Yes, there is condensation on the windows. Yes, there is still steam coming from my mouth. I am doing quite a good job. I was just having a five minute sit down whilst my colleague brought me some lighting. I've now reached the point in here where, yes, although I have artificial light, it's actually getting dark outside. My wallpaper steam has just run out of water and I'm going to call it quits for today. 
Um, I'm gonna carry on tomorrow. I would go and get fresh water, but then there's no fresh water on this floor, uh, or there's no tap on this floor. So back downstairs I go with my handy watering can, and I will be back up here tomorrow. But I feel I have made good progress, that's for sure. The other thing that I found, I think I've seen it before, but I've never fully uncovered it, is this. So we have the fireplace in this room, and just above it, there's some writing, and I don't know whether you can make it out because I don't think I can. I know that that's, that looks like a C. Hang on. This here, C, and then this looks like a H. This looks like an A. Is this a U or an M? And then this looks like an M. Don't know what that is, and that looks like a Y. And that, to me, looks like Christmas 1939. So I'll take a picture, and if you have any ideas, we don't think that it's the name of one of the previous owners that we know of, but we could be wrong. Ah. Could even be the name of the guy who wallpapered the room, or the woman who wallpapered the room, who knows? Um, yeah, any ideas, get in touch and comment below. Okay, so there's a couple of jobs that I need to be getting on with in here. Um, the first one of them, quite an easy task really, and that's underneath the kitchen units where the tiling didn't quite reach. We need to put a tile up there, so uh, rather than having lots of cups of tiles, um, painting some wood that I'm going to stick up underneath there just to hide that bit, make it look a bit smarter. I think. Hot please with that. Another job ticked off the list, so bit by bit. So, then the other little job I've got to do um, is around the windows. Uh, not all of them, but this one is an example. I had to fill it in with um, expanding foam and I was out yesterday at a brick shop and bought um, plastic trim that I've now cut. So that just needs to be stuck up. So that's the well quite pleased with that. That's um, an inexpensive simple solution and that problem is now fixed. So this particular window um, I've got a crack to fill here. I'm not going to put that plastic on it. It's not like as bad as all the other ones were. So um, yeah, just a bit of filler. There we go. Quite simple. Let that dry off. Um, if it shrinks, I need to put a bit more filler in. If not, then just give it a light rub down to blend it into the rest of the wall and then um, touch the paint and then that will be done. Day three of de-wallpapering this bedroom and today I'm hoping to finish. Uh, the good news is, is that outside is now into actual single figures of temperature. I do believe currently it is five degrees so it is a fraction warmer. Still going. It's not a great week here, apart from it being cold. Um, 
We've had loads of problems with our internet this week, which isn't great because Nick's down in the Jeep, I'm up here, um, and when, you, when you're up here and when you're, when you're on your own, it's fine, it's not an issue. It's just, normally I've got the radio on, on a little known device called Alexa. I've got no radio, which gets really quite depressing because it's just me and this big, stupid wallpaper, stripper steamer thing going blub, 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 blub. and after a while it gets really boring not that not that it's a fun job to start with needs doing yes but when you have the radio there's just something that goes on upstairs rather than white noise going ah blub, 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 blub. so yeah we've had problems with the internet this week nick's frustrated as anything with it as well because he's the one who's been trying to fix it. I did joke with him, did he turn it off just so I could say, oh, I need you. But no, that's not been the case. So. So, oh, I'm happy to say, I have finally finished. Ah, oh, wallpaper be gone. Yes, woohoo. Right, anyway, I'm glad I got that done. <sighs> well, the good news is, I'm happy to report the windows are finished. Everything's been sealed, everything's been painted. They're done. Apart from some sticky labels on the outside, but anyway, that's for another day. So it's been another week of just finishing off little bits and pieces in the sheet. Um, there's a lot more work to do before it's in a condition that we can get it rented out, but there's a lot of work that's still to be done outside and it's just so cold at the moment I'm not doing that doesn't mean that I haven't been doing very much um, planning been doing a lot of planning getting quotes for some little jobs or some big jobs that um, I think are beyond my capability but uh, checking things out on the internet trying to stay warm oh, I miss the summer No, not that bit. The middle bit. No, not that bit. You don't like that bit. Yeah. You like bananas? You're a good girl. Well, hello from high up here in the top floor of the Maison de Maitre. Um, I popped up here today because I want to look at what we've got to bring down in the next few weeks to try and start getting on with doing the insulating and plasterboarding of this room. Um, we'll probably move on to here soon because we did say that we wanted to do outside first, but it's still really, really cold. Uh, Nick's hopefully finished snagging the jeep this week, fingers crossed. Um, and yeah, I just thought, well, I want to come up here and have a look at the things that are up here that we're going to need to take down and is it worth scrapping them? Is it worth just chucking them in the bin? Some of them, I didn't know what they were until a, well, until a few days ago. So I'll show you a few random finds from the attic. So up here, we do have loads of things that are already ready to go in. Like we've got uh, a few stacks of plasterboard and we've got all of the insulation in one of these rooms behind me. As before, um, we've, well, Nick's pulled up some of the floorboards and he's managed to get um, electric ceiling lights into the floor below. I know that there's still some to go over into the two downstairs bedrooms. One of them's below this block and one of them's below here. The only thing that we've mainly done since we've been here to the attic is um, fix all of the windows so that the water doesn't come through them, that the units have glass in them. Um, 
curtains so that things can't get through. And the windows actually look really good. All of the stuff that was up here since we've moved in has stayed up here. So there's things behind me like these wall hooks here, which are just really, really long hooks for things. Um, over there, there's some old wine bottles. This wonderful old bedpan. <laughs> And then we've got things like this, which I think could be one of the original finials off the top of the building. I think things like the, the wooden hooks, they've definitely seen better days and can be rehomed. Um, coming down to this bed, this bed frame, it would be really nice to do something with it. Um, I think probably we'll get some WD-40 on it on the joints and see if we can actually dismantle it. One thing that's up here that can definitely go, which can't be repurposed for anything, and which is just beyond use, is this. And this is the original mattress for this bed. Wow. Looks so comfy. This has been in the house again since we moved in and I was randomly looking at something on the internet the other night and I managed to find out what on earth this thing is. So, after some investigation, I found out that this would have originally been a thing called a nun and priest. Now, the priest aspect of it refers to the wooden frame. And then the thing that would have been called the nun would have gone on a pot inside here full of ash or hot embers. And what you would have done, you would have taken your nun, the hot pot, and the priest, the frame, and you would have put it in between your bed sheets to keep your bed warm. And quite clearly, with modern developments, this one isn't an original nun and priest, no. This is an electric model. We've gone one stage into the future here. So you would have taken this and plugged this into your nearest socket. These two lights would have heated up and you would have put this under your bedding. So this would have gone on top of your mattress. Your bed sheets would have gone on top. This would go in the middle of the bed and it would warm it up before you got into bed. I've also been reading how they were used a lot, not just for warming your bed up, but they also helped get rid of damp in beds in old houses. So there we go, folks, an original electronic bed warmer. This one actually even had a maker's mark that I didn't realise until after I'd kind of found out what it was. But this one was made in Bordeaux. I am going to keep this and I'm going to strip the electrics out of it because I've seen something pretty cool that you can do with these. Future date, future project, stay tuned. One of the other things that I've found up here has been this bowl, and I'm gonna take it downstairs and I'm gonna clean it up, and then I'm gonna show you what I found on the internet. There's also some old ceiling roses up here that are gonna come in handy. Um, Nick's put some new lights in on the hallway on the first floor and there's no ceiling roses. So I think these will come in handy for where they're going. They are really quite pretty. They're pretty dusty as well, but they will work. And one of the final great things that we have up here is this toilet. It's so great. <laughs> I don't, we're not going to turn it into a working toilet in the house, that's for sure, it's too far past it. But I think cleaned up and turned into a planter, I think that this would look epic. Just look at that, isn't that stunning? <laughs> I think it's more the, more the, the actual detail on the bottom. I think the bottom's metal, the, the bowl is porcelain. I don't know about the seat and the lid. It's obviously been a woman who was uh, who was last here. Oh no, it does go up, it does go up. Wow. I imagine this has seen some action in its time. Not the maker's mark is. Ain, eager. Who knows? 
I've brought down my treasure from the attic and I've got my sink running full of hot soapy water ready for this. I'll give you a before shot. Well, here we go. I think it could have been used to collect rainwater. Um, yeah, this is pretty grim. Uh, I think there's a crack in it here. Yeah, there's a crack. I don't know how far across that goes, but we shall though. We shall see. After a good clean up, I think I've got it to the best it's going to get here. Oh, um, up there, this big mouldy old bowl caught my eye. Um, I don't know how well this is going to come out on camera, but all the way around the rim is this big gold mark painted on. It's really nice. It's come up quite well considering what it was. Unfortunately, the bowl does have a crack in it that goes to just about there. It's quite crazed. As I say, it's quite old. I've just flipped it over. It's 40 centimetres across, so it's quite a wide bowl. I would say it's probably about 20 centimetres deep. But what got me was the maker's mark on the back. And there we go, Vilroy and Bosch. Bosna Metallic. So after a few hefty Googling sessions on this, I finally found out that it's the base of a wash stand. Um, I've been up there and I've looked and I've checked and the jug to go with the wash stand isn't up there, but the base is still here. And here's a picture that I found on the internet of what it originally would have looked like. Ah. There we go, a little bit of history from the attic. Now, I know it's got a crack in it and it's probably a bit knackered, but it's kind of too nice to throw in the tip. But it's okay, because round here, even though things are knackered, in some cases we do still keep them. Don't we dear? Even though things are knackered, we still keep them. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to Wine, wine of, of the week. week. And yet again, no wine. No, no wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, this week, actually, we're having a whiskey um, in celebration, kind of, a Burns night. Yes. Um, previously in England, we celebrated Burns night with some friends, and with one year, we didn't make it home. <laughs> well, we fell in a ditch on the way home. <laughs> There's yes. a much longer story to it than that, but um, we're going steady tonight. It's good. It's always good when you wake up and your hands aren't covered in nettle marks from plying yourself out of a ditch. Anyway, the whiskey that we have today is this. It is Talisker Sky from the Isle of Sky. And this was a lovely gift from my parents to me for Christmas. And it comes in this lovely presentation box that my mum was really impressed with. I should just move these glasses. Look at, look at this, it opens up like, whoa. <laughs> and it actually shows your map in the middle of the box. Look at that, the distillery in the middle. The centre of their world. It's like, it's like a board game for adults. Jumanji. <laughs> Jumanji. Scottish version. <laughs> You have yours with... I'm going to have mine with some ice. Because it's not cold enough. <laughs> I'm just going to have my neat. <laughs> so we've had a, a chilly week. It's been cold again. We may have mentioned this on the video. Several times, sorry. <laughs> Hopefully next week it will start getting a bit warmer and we can focus on some of the outside jobs that we've got. Um, if not, then um, probably up in the attic in the maze on the matron and yeah. have a look at getting on there. Yeah, start maybe insulating and yeah. as long as we're well insulated, then it could be possible. Even anyway. this is cold. <laughs> Feel how cold that <laughs> is. That comes and... from the cellar. Yeah. <laughs> it's comparatively warm. Yeah. <laughs> so, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> anyway, if you've liked this episode please click like and if you've not already subscribed please consider subscribing you can also find out more on facebook instagram and twitter 
all on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. So, cheers. Cheers. Oh, hello. That's warming. That is warming. Oh, it's not the froy, but that is. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week.